well, more sticker shock at the gas pump tonight. The weekly report from the U.S. Energy Department shows the national average price for gasoline is now three eighty-eight a gallon. For California, it is four twenty-three, and in San Francisco, it's four thirty-eight. Keep in mind, every dollar increase costs the typical family about a thousand dollars a year. A new ABC News poll shows 58% of us are driving less as a result of these high prices. 71% say it has become a hardship. And as ABC 7's Alan Wong reports, it is starting to have an impact in other areas of our economy as well. We didn't get tomatoes because tomatoes are 79 cents a piece. Tomatoes are at their highest price in four years, and Cindy Misco has five mouths to feed on a single income. Even baking at home is expensive now. She may have to tighten her belt even more because the U.S. Department of Agriculture is projecting higher food prices by the end of the year. Beef prices are expected to rise 8 percent, pork up 7.5 percent, and produce as much as 4.5 percent. It just means we don't go out that much. We don't go to the movies. I'm thinking of turning off cable. Misco still has her job, but higher food prices could have a huge impact on the unemployed. It keeps me from eating uh, filet mignon and uh, lobster, you know, and uh, now I'm down to chicken wings and uh, canned soup. The inflation projections are being driven by higher energy and food commodity prices, along with the growing global demand for food. The income in developing countries are increasing. So people in China and India and all these other countries want to eat uh, meat rather than to eat vegetables and to eat more. Professor David Zilberman is an agricultural economist at UC Berkeley. He says if Americans are suffering in this global food shortage, the situation will be much worse in other parts of the world. When the price of food is very high, some people die. And this is the thing that is problematic. So we really need to make sure that as demand increases, we increase supply. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Zilberman says the global food shortage means we'll see more price fluctuations in the future. And he says the world may have to turn to genetically modified food to increase supplies. In the East Bay, Alan Wong, ABC7 News. For 30 years, eFoods Global has been perfecting the process by which we make our food reserves. We start by using only the finest sun-ripened and fresh produce grown and harvested following the good agricultural practices guidelines. Not only are our ingredients GAP certified, but we carefully test them for chemical and microbial contaminants like salmonella and E. coli before the approved ingredients are blended into our exclusive recipes following strict quality control standards established and audited by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. These ingredients contain no trans fats, no hydrogenated oils, and no MSG. At eFoods Global, we do not freeze dry our food because the freeze drying process removes moisture and infuses chemicals into the food to prolong the shelf life. All of our ingredients are dehydrated only using low heat and no chemical preservatives are ever added. Our dehydration process naturally preserves the food so that upwards of 92% of the nutritional value remains intact. These quality ingredients are then packaged in moisture resistant, light resistant, proprietary assurance packaging that is flushed with carbon dioxide to prevent oxidation and guarantee longer shelf life and quality before sealing the package. Finally, we date stamp the outside of the package the day we prepare the food reserves, so you know you're getting fresh food reserves. eFoods Global Reserves, when properly stored, maintain their flavor and quality for up to 25 years. Now, I know what you're thinking. These can't possibly be the reserves. But these delicious meals are exactly what you get when you prepare your eFoods Global Meals. And none of these meals require more than a pot of boiling water, the contents of a package, and 10 to 20 minutes. Pretty soon, you are going to select some of these delicious meals to try for yourself for free. That's a great opportunity. Let's talk about some other opportunities eFoods Global has to offer you.